Hello, what is going on? My name is Cole. If you don't know, well, you know now. And if you are not subscribed, I will find you, I swear to God. I'm not wearing any pants. Yeah, you heard me. I'm not wearing any pants. I'll show y'all. These are underwear. <laughs> My legs look like twigs. We're talking underwear. What are the best underwear? What maybe aren't the best underwear? And look, I haven't tried all the underwear in the world. There's probably hundreds, if not thousands, of brands of underwear. So I can't try them all. I've spent a long time searching for like the perfect pair of underwear. Not only for men, but for trans men in particular. I wouldn't really say there's a ton of differences in uh, the fit of underwear for trans men versus cisgender men. Uh, underwear is underwear, I guess, at the end of the day. But I have found, for me personally, that these types of underwears that I'm going to show you have benefited me as a transgender man. But I'm gonna go through 10 different pairs of underwear in which I like, and then there's some that I don't like, and I'm gonna let y'all know. So let's just jump into it, okay? Into it. Okay, you guys, here are my underwear. Different brands, different styles, similar styles, but I'll have the same brand. Well, let's just fucking jump into it. I'm not gonna like preface anymore. This isn't gonna go in any particular order, but I will talk about each one. And for each one, I will have it listed in the description below to where you can find it, how much it is, and you can decide uh, if you wanna try it out. Okay, all right, so the first one we're gonna talk about are from American Eagle. These are just standard trunk underwear. The problem with the cotton, the cotton that I've come to find with these, th these are really comfortable, I like them, but I wouldn't necessarily wear them if I was going to work out or go to work. The cotton just like absorbs sweat, not the best. It doesn't really wick away, it just kind of absorbs it. I have a very laborious job, so uh, I sweat a lot in the downstairs region. And these I find like I don't really like wearing while I'm working or working out or what have you. But for casual wear, I like these. Now these are the ones with the little pee-pee hole. <laughs> and not that as a trans man, you necessarily need it, unless you're uh, post-op or whatever, but I do like somewhat of a hole sometimes if I'm gonna wear an STP because then it can just make it easier to use. And then the other thing with these, with these cotton pair, if you've worked out a shit ton and you're super, super sweaty or whatever, these just become very loose. So I found it kind of uncomfortable in the middle of a day or whatever because they just kind of get baggy. But out of a 10, 10 being the absolute best underwear I've ever had, I'd probably give these like a six. So number two, these are the next ones. They are also from American Eagle. They're called the Flex Trunk. They are more elastic. So look, look, they actually move around, but they're tight. See what I enjoy about underwear like this is like they wick away moisture. So like I can breathe in them. And they're also like, they stay tight around your leg and they're nice around the, the waistband. It's not too tight. It's not too loose and it, and it stays Everything kind of stays in place when you're wearing them throughout the day. And I really do enjoy these ones while I am working or working out uh, because they can just help me breathe. I definitely, for me personally, prefer this more athletic style underwear. So on a scale of one to 10, I definitely would give these upwards of probably like an eight or nine. All right, so the next brand we're gonna talk about here is Calvin Klein. I have a few different styles of underwear from Calvin Klein. Some can be very expensive. Some can be relatively cheap. I found some of these on like the clearance sale section of Calvin online. These ones I really, really like. They look like this. It's not too big of a waistband. I like the trunk style. It's not too long. It's not too short. These tend to ride up a little bit, but again, it's kind of this breathable material. It's a little less elasticy than these ones. It's a little more, what, is, what are these made with? It's a little more cottony kind of, I, it's in like another language, so I can't read it. They feel a little more cotton, so they're really, really soft, but they're still elastic. They're still breathable. These are, I, I wear these ones probably the most. I like, I like these ones. I would definitely give these ones like a, an eight and a half as well out of 10. Another style in the Calvin Klein's that I do not like that I ordered online. Um, they look very similar but this is kind of what they look like. These right here, it's the same sort of feel. These ones are a little bit more, they don't stretch as much. I think that's maybe what the problem is. So like, they don't stretch as much as these ones do. So they just feel really tight and constricting. The waistband I feel is kind of tight. There's not much give. I don't really know how else to explain it. There's just not much give, so they just feel tight on like my hip area um, and just kind of tight around the leg. I guess the best thing I could say is like, I've just repeated myself four times, but there's no give. So the stretch isn't there. 
they're really soft though like if you're wearing them just casually maybe but i don't ever wear these i bought them because they were on sale and cheap but i don't wear them i probably only wear them if it was my last pair i still kind of hang on to them because i bought them so they just sort of sit at the bottom of the the underwear drawer again i will link all these styles in the description below because i don't know exactly what they're called but you can kind of look them up yourself i would give these like a four and then the third uh pair of calvin kleins that i really really like too i got these years ago at like a calvin uh outlet um they look like this they definitely are more of like a spandexy material definitely a lot more stretch I like these they're like again they're they're a little bit longer on the leg which for me I kind of like that style um, I definitely like the waistband the Calvin Klein like waistband I, I just I like I think it looks super cool um, they have the little the little uh, pouch here is a bit different than how some other style underwear is it has like the hole at the top um, it's kind of funky but uh, I like them because they're, they're the performance brand. Yeah, I would give these definitely like upwards of an eight, eight and a half out of 10. I really like them. These are like my other go-to pair of underwear that are just a solid pair. Uh, everything just kind of stays in place. They don't, they don't ride up. They don't, they don't get super baggy as I'm working or working out. All right, so the next one is pair of thieves. You can get these at Target. I think that's basically where they're most widely known. Their, their marketing is super cool. I don't know. A lot of underwear companies or just items in general get me with their marketing so I've been eyeing these and I wanted to try it they're super fucking soft they're the softest pair of underwear that I have it's like this kind of silky material really really stretchy and breathable the only thing is because they're so silky and like soft feeling it just feels a little loose to me it doesn't feel like everything's kind of like packed in it's it's, it's a good fit on the waist and everything but for me like they're they're really comfortable you don't even really know that they're there so in that sense they're good but i don't prefer working in these because my uh my packer seems to kind of loosey goose around so super super soft i'd probably give it like a seven and a half or so out of ten uh solid pair but not my favorite all right, the next ones are from Express. These ones were, I don't even remember the price on this one. I think this were, this is a boxer brief stretch. Yeah, more of the boxer brief style. They're a little bit shorter on the leg. For me, I don't personally like underwear that rides up. These tend to ride up, so I like the longer trunk style. These ones have some give, but they're definitely more cottony, so they're not really breathable for working for working out or, or, or working in like hotter weather too. Really cool look and, and the band I really enjoy and everything, but these ones tend to be really tight on the leg. So I really don't prefer to work to, to work or anything with them. Again, like just chilling if you're just gonna take it easy, like they're, they're comfortable. But once you start moving and grooving around, I don't find them to be the most comfortable underwear. And I would say they are a little bit more pricier on the price scale. I would give these maybe like a six out of 10. All right, so the last three pairs that I wanna talk about are from a company called Duluth Trading Company. These are where I found one of my favorite pairs of underwear, which I will get to last. The first one I wanna talk about for Duluth Trading Company are these ones right here. They're called the bullpen. And they call it the bullpen because you can see the inside, um, it has this like little pouch in here where, I don't know if you can see it very well, but uh, that looks interesting. <laughs> but basically they're meant so like you could put your balls in there. Yeah, bullpen for your balls. I was really um, attracted to these pair of underwear because I thought, oh, this could be super cool to like maybe put your um, your packer in or something. It can and it stays kind of in there. It doesn't really work as well as I thought that it would for like a packer. Like maybe it, w it maybe it would work good for like a cis man. It didn't work as I intended it. I still enjoy it, but these ones, they do run a bit small. I'm mostly, I buy medium in all of my underwear and they f usually fit pretty well. These are also a medium, but they're hella tight. Like they're just really tight on the waist. So I don't like that. I find it kind of uncomfortable. The legs and the waist are the, uh, the are the part that is the tightest. So I don't find that comfortable for me personally. I like the idea and they're really, really soft and they feel really good. They have a lot of give, but, but the tightness in the waistband is what got me with these. I was a little disappointed, I will say. These can be somewhat on the pricier side too. Yeah, these usually run like just under 30 bucks. I would give it like a six out of 10. All right, the next pair that I wanna talk about is also from Duluth. They are called the Buck 
naked underwear. They look like this. I really like them. It's like hard to explain the material. Like really, really soft and they are stretchy. They're not too, too stretchy. They're durable, they're tight. The only thing is the damn waistband. The waistband is what gets me. Also, these ones are really like, they have a really big crotch area. Like it just is a, I mean, I guess they're made for for putting your schlong in and everything, but their whole thing with the underwear is like you can barely feel them, like buck naked. They're called buck naked, so they're meant to like feel like your butt naked. They're just a little tight around the leg. Like it's so tough to find like the perfect underwear in that sense because you don't want it to be loosey goosey and have like a really floppy fucking leg that like loosens up over the day, but you also don't want something super tight either. So it can be hard, but. That is where I have found number 10, my favorite pair of underwear that have just completely outdone themselves. And I eventually would like to stock my underwear drawer with all of these. They are just the more expensive pair. And this is what leads me to believe, not always, but the more expensive you buy, you get what you pay for, basically is what I'm trying to say here. If you buy something super cheap, you're gonna get super cheap quality. Now, that's not always the case. You can find some relatively cheap underwear that can still uh, fare well. It's all preference and how you feel in them. Like, what feels good for me with underwear might not feel good for you and vice versa. It also depends on your activity level and just what you're doing throughout the day that can decide on what a, a good pair of underwear means. Let me show you the last pair, my favorite pair. They are also from Duluth Trading Company. These ones are called the Armachillo. Let me show you. And I really like the, the print too. It's super, super cool. But let me tell you why I like these. These are called armachillo because they keep you cool. They're super soft, but they have some weird technology that I'm not a scientist, so I can't really go into the science of it. But basically they claim that it can keep you cool, which is amazing during the summertime when you are out there and it's freaking hot, you're working out or you're working, and you wanna keep the downstairs cool. It can start to get a little musky, a little, uh, a little, a little much down there in the pantalones. So you want to keep it cool. You want to keep everything chill. And that's where Armachillo comes in. These ones, let me tell you the price. These ones are the, again, when I say the price, I'm just a cheap bastard. So what I think is expensive, you might think is like really cheap for underwear, but these ones go for about 35 bucks a pair. Let me just, let me, let me read the little uh, thing that I'm talking about with the, with the chill. So basically it says, Shuck off those sticky, sweaty cotton skivvies and chill out with the revolutionary cooling of armachillo technology. Microscopic jade embedded in the fabric makes them feel cool and refreshing right where it really counts. Better yet, they wick away moisture and resist body odor so you won't contend with chafe or stink. Even on simmering hot summer days, and now they come in patterns so cool you'll be tempted to drop your drawers just to show them off. Yeah, they're cool. They got camo. It's cool. Get it? <laughs> the Armachillo from Duluth are by far my favorite. I like them for the cooling effect, but they also are the perfect fit in the waistband that I was talking about. They're not too tight. They're not too loose. They stay put. Some of the other cotton ones, they just stretch out. These don't stretch out over the day. So not only uh, tight fitting, but not too tight in the, in the waistband, but also the legs too. It just fits comfortably. It's the perfect length for me. It's not too short. It's not too long. It doesn't ride up. They keep you cool. I just enjoy them. So go grab yourself some Duluth Trading Company Armachillos, okay? I'm gonna kinda wrap it up here. If you guys have any underwear selection that I didn't talk about here that you would recommend, leave a comment down below. Or if you have tried any of the underwear I have talked about, let me know how it works for you. I wanna know, I need to know. I need to know. All right, and the last thing I will say, if you have not watched my last video, I am doing a giveaway. I am giving away a binder. If you don't know what a binder is, yeah. You probably don't need one, but if you are interested in winning a binder, you just have to watch this video up here. I talk about how you win it, so watch that and you'll learn how to win it. That's basically the gist of it. All right, guys, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Deuces.